four and this is center of mass uh, who is studying this motion person on the ground a person on the ground he will do marking like this so let, let's this point be another after some time p4 will come here p1 will be here p2 p3 and center of mass will have a displacement c after some time p1 will be here p2 p3 and this is p4 and again again p1 will come here and don't forget that omega c we are discussing that pure rolling let me draw a line joining only 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 the p1 Please uh, today print out. You don't take it, no, because I don't have time. Huh? Print outs, please. I'm sending PDF, no. Better utilize it. Huh? Print outs. Uh... Because see, I had to do again screen adjustment, everything. Huh? I'm sending PDF. a very nice pdf so you don't need your own printer screenshots everything just okay let, let me put see v cot r omega is what like there is a condition for pure rolling so why v cot r omega pure rolling means then you should ask the engineers v cot r omega the condition for pure rolling so i'll, I'll i think red color only will take it look at the red color curve Let, let me show only that now what is this the path of the point p1 huh? this is the path of point p1 like that you can plot the and what about the center of mass out center of mass I'll, i'll show by green color green color dotted line This is the velocity of center of mass. I am giving enough best diagrams. Please do try to follow. Okay, look at the center of mass. How it is moving? It is moving. horizontally it additions are from the ground and look at the point on a rigid bone in the circumference it is describing in some path uh, sir what is this path we are not understanding so this is the ground this is the center of mass look at this I, and <coughs> let me take one more reference line no what is the trajectory of this this will be we describing trajectory like this the point p1 a point on a circumference will describe trajectory of this kind like this it will continue 
the, the, the green color is what? Velocity of center of mass. And what is that red color? There's a ground. What is the red color? Path of point P1 or path of a point on a circumference. Like this, uh, <coughs> shall I find out the of anything else? The different rigid bodies all will not be like this. If you look at the point P4, simultaneously you try to plot. I think you will be having a color pencils, color pen. You, you try to plot it, draw a circle like this. Then P4 is here, no? After some time where P4 will come. P4 is here then P4 will come. So like that, of several points, you can show different colors here. I'm sh showing only this one. So what is this red color? There's a path of P1. Like this, you can show for P2, P3, P4. So this is called like a cycloidal path. So pure rolling will define condition for pure rolling. So what is the distance covered by the point P1? on the ground or the displacement of center of mass so how much of distance it will cover 2 pi r this this particular thing is called a cycloidal path okay now we have to give explanation for such particular motion here okay all of you just do make observation I'll enter into the next mathematical parts. Uh, now we can describe only motion of this or motion of any any anything. Motion of any object we can discuss, you know. Uh, what is the distance covered by the center of mass from year to year? So center of mass is here. And, and finally what will happen? The center of mass will be here, no? So how much of distance it will cover and, and what, shall, what is the time? If, if you write this is t equal to 0, this will be the one time, no? And what is this capital T? You write it. 2 pi omega c. By the time, by the time with respect to center of mass, point P1 completes one revolution. What happened to center of mass? In that interval of time, it will cover a linear displacement. And what is that linear displacement? It will become equal to 2 pi r. This is what happens in pure rolling. And what is the condition for pure rolling? Vc should be equal to R omega c. This is what we are defining it. I am saying we, we are defining it. And now, how much of distance the point P1 will cover? Path of P1 in one rotate in one revolution means with respect to center of mass when it goes round. In the ground frame, what will happen? Will it be there only? See, point P1, if you stand on the ground, you see point P1 at t equal to 0 here. <coughs> After some time, when again point P1 will hit the ground? Again, when it will hit the ground? After one revolution? So what happened? After every one revolution, what happened? It is going to strike the ground. If you stand at center of mass, how you see point P1 moving? Circular path. If you stand on the ground, you see it is moving in cycloidal path. Now, how much of distance covered by it that has to be determined here? So that that will calculate, you know. So this should be equal to uh, how to calculate the speed of any point. Do we know speed of any point? how to calculate the speed of any point because if you know speed then we can go for the distance covered so I'll, I'll use one more uh, this is okay now what is the thing I want like a, by the time center of mass by the time point P1 moves from year to year so what is this path length this has to be determined and what is this distance should be equal to this is equal to pi r that, that I'm showing it here that I'm showing this s is equal to pi r so what is this path length I, I want this length how to calculate that length? For that, we should know speed of the point. Is it fine? I'll, I'll scroll down. Let, let me do that calculation part. Uh, 
Now it is having pure rolling. So what is the velocity of uh, this particular point? Will be r omega c and v c no. Let me take this is theta. That let that let me call that is the velocity of point here or point p one only. Let me call it. Then what is the velocity of this point p? R omega c and v c. <coughs> so if this angle. Theta u dot no. Okay, let's resolve now. So, what is the velocity of point p one? I should take the vector sum of r omega c and v c. What is the angle between them will be? One eighty minus theta. The angle between them. I'll, I'll write. I'll, I'll make things clear a little bit. Yeah, this is this is angle. No? And what is the total angle between them? Will be one eighty minus theta. Angle between V C and R omega C. I'll take the vector addition of that. This should be equal to V C square plus R omega C square plus two V C R omega C cos of one eighty minus theta. And we know for pure rolling. V C cot R omega C, so V C square, V C square, two V C square, cos theta. Solving this, I'll get V C equal to two into one minus cos theta. So this is the velocity of point P one, or this will become V C into. Yeah, just some mathematics. Huh? Just some mathematics. The very good information is available. Uh, this will be uh, one minus cos theta. We can write two sine square theta by two. So this everything will become two v c sine theta by two. Now uh, what is theta? What is theta? Can we write omega c equal to theta by t? Angular displacement. It is rotating with constant angular velocity. But sir, you wrote here two pi by omega. So I think circular motion time taken for one revolution, two pi by angular velocity. Then how you define angular velocity? Angular displacement by time. In interval of time t, it will have angular displacement this one. So therefore, substituting this v p one equal to two v c sine of. Okay, now let's come into the. <coughs> The original calculation part. Uh, what is this one? I I know the speed of point P one. Can we calculate the path length? Go back to kinematics. If you know the speed, can you calculate the distance covered? Yes, we can. We can manage. So this shall I write ds by dt is equal to this will be uh, since omega is there. No, let let me write this is r omega c sine of omega c t by two. So this will become d s equal to two r omega c integral of into d t. So this will be two r omega c omega c by two is what I should digest. So this should be the in one revolution. What is the time taken? Zero to capital T. That's the distance covered. That's the path length. S is equal to four r. So this should be minus of cos of O omega c what you can write it as 2 pi by capital t 2 pi by capital t this is t mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll substitute one more omega c is 2 pi by capital t anybody value of this 
I think when you simplify everything, substitute will get this is equal to 8R. Very, very, very important. Oh, no. Th this data is very important. Uh, if, I, if I don't <coughs> discuss this, it's of no use of learning. Uh, in pure rolling, I'm putting a condition in pure rolling by the time. Center of mass covers a distance of how much? 2 pi r. <coughs> then how much, what happens a point or a circumference will cover this? What is the path length of this? 8 r, th this total length, this distance will be 8 r. That's what in pure rolling. So what is the test? S equal to 2 pi r. What is it? I think, uh, uh, we'll, we'll write S is C, huh? this. Uh, by the time center of mass covers a distance of 2 pi r in pure rolling. Then uh, uh, what is the point P1? It will start from ground, will reach, like I say, it will not move in center of mass frame, it will rotate, but in ground frame, what it will move in this cycloidal path. So what is this path length? The path length is this one. So what is S equal to 8 r? Path length of the point on its circumference. That's what I should write here. So what is this S equal to 8 r? path length of a point on a circumference in one rotation and how much of center of mass will move additions of 2 pi r. <coughs> this is what happens in pure rolling. So what is the condition for pure rolling? The point of contact it will have zero velocity. Now question comes, who is instant in a center? <coughs> Now at this instant, point P1 is instant in the center. All points will rotate about P1. Next, after some time, P4 will become instant in the center. All points will rotate about what? About P4. P4 will become instant in the center. Next, who will become instant center? P3. Next, P2. Next, P1. So in one revolution, what happened? The point P1 will get opportunity only once. Now it was, all points are rotating about P1. Again, when the all points on the rigid body will rotate about P1 after one revolution, you can see. Again, when the point P1 comes in contact with the ground, then all, here all will be rotating about P1. Shall I use word instant in a center? So now, uh, who is instant in a center? P1 is instant center. Nearby diagram, I'll write it. P1 is instant in a center. Now, who is instant in center? P4. Instantaneous center. What do you mean by IC? Uh, why, why word instantaneous center? At that instant, all points will rotate about that center. So therefore, I'll call instant is not permanent center. And uh, now, who is instantaneous center? P3. Now, who is instantaneous center? P2. Now, who is instantaneous center? P1. Uh, now, who can become instant center now in this given rigid body condition? The points on the circumference. <coughs> Once in a one revolution, what happened? A point which comes in contact with the ground that will become instantaneous center and the axis passing through that will become instantaneous axis of rotation and and what is ip now ip you can call as moment of inertia about an axis passing through instantaneous center so this axis now is called as instant axis of rotation so what's happening to that axis that axis is moving itself with the velocity with, with the rigid body so an engineer what happened at this instant who will like which point will take reference? The P3 will take reference, and you see that all points are rotating about P3 now. Instant center, sir, will lie only on the circumference. Okay, now will that will see in the application problem. So condition for pure rolling. So now I I'll, <coughs> I'll get into the pure rolling. What do you mean by pure rolling? I'll, I'll come to the original th this one. Okay, this is about the initial theoretical part. Of what we needed. In pure rolling, once again, we'll summarize all the things. Now, pure rolling, what happens? There's a rigid body. <coughs> 